Basketball fans, we have something very important to talk about. Now, I know it's been a while since the All-Star game happened, but listen, are there changes that need to be made? You have to tell me. People are once again befuddled that defense is once again not being played in the All-Star game. You gotta be kidding me. So let's talk about it. Now, obviously, there's nothing to play for, right? Because there's no defense. However, I think that's something that has serious playoff implications is a little too much. I saw this dropped around Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, OnlyFans, wherever you could find it when the NBA All-Star Game happened. And I just feel like that's not very smart. If you have a guy, if you keep how the playoffs are set and how the All-Stars are picked, if you have a team like the freaking, the Pacers, for example, they got Tyrese Halliburton. They're probably not a great example, obviously. Probably not a great example, but anyways, pretend Tyrese Halbert isn't that good, right? You have a player who can lift his team to a to a playing spot, a playoff spot, but can't go to the All-Star game. So now you literally just make it easier for those top seeds, the Boston Celtics, the Milwaukee Bucks, the Denver Nuggets, to send their players over there to dominate and also probably have their head coach there because one of those guys will be in the number one seed, right? And it just it doesn't make sense to have playoff implications in an all-star game where a team with the play-in gets even more of a disadvantage. Going away from that, I for one love the offensive display. Seeing Dame shoot before half court, like I'm not even trying to be disingenuous about this. The offensive display is it's beautiful. Who does not like who who watches the all-star game to hear like, you know what? I'm gonna put that on. I'm gonna put the all-star game on. I wonder what oh no defense? Crazy, right? But I'm going to see Dame shoot before half court, make it, and get pissed. At that point, I just wonder like what your thought process is, um, what you're thinking in general about your life. You know, like you turned on a game, you knew had no defense, you saw a really cool shot, and you still hate it. Make it make sense, pl please. Tatum 55 points was beautiful. People are being like, oh, Curry's 50 was crazy. Tatum's 55 was it. Dude, he took crazy shots too. Did you not see him pull up from half court? Maybe you didn't, but come on, man. Let's be a little bit smarter than this. A big a big gripe, though, of the NBA All-Star game. The concerts and stuff at halftime, man, I was playing Overwatch, and I had a serious game, right? You know how Overwatch can be. You get frozen by May. Yeah, that shit takes 30 minutes. You stand in at a point for 15 minutes, defending in overtime, while May freezes you, you keep getting out of it, you keep training abilities, and you go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I was done, like, I was taking like 30 minutes on that game, and I started it when halftime happened. I ended, and my friend was like, all right, I'm gonna get off. I was like, okay, great. I'll go watch the second half. I get to my desk, five minutes later, still going on. DJ Khaled! What the hell, man? It's, nobody really cares. We want to see basketball, not DJ Khaled. I know he probably wasn't there. Point remains. Now, lastly, at the end of the day, if you find zero, and I mean zero, enjoyment from the NBA All-Star game, you put it on, you're like, this is garbage, this is trash, I hate everything about this, you are looking for something to be negative about. There's no problem seeing all these mic'd up guys, all these mic'd up superstars, talking, joking, laughing, having fun with each other, seeing some good music, even though I just, I just said I hated it. Um, and seeing all these crazy shots, you know, LeBron and Tatum throwing dunks to themselves, and you're just like, wow, this is trash. You are looking for something to be negative about. Can you have criticisms of it? Absolutely. There's nothing wrong with criticizing the game and trying to make it better. That's what people do. That's what refs do. That's what the stars do. They try and make the game better, right? By being themselves and being amazing. And that's why we've seen the evolution, and that's why MJ plays with plumbers. That whole, that whole gripe is a thing, because people get better over time. But um, it's okay to think that the NBA All-Star Game needs to be like that, too. I'm just saying, though, you know, I already know I said at the end of the day. But at the end of the day, if you see Dane take a half-court three, draining it, having fun with it, and then thinking, that's stupid, there's something wrong with you. Team Giannis carried a seven-point lead at the half. They're up 14 right now. Whoa! Damian Lillard!